The U.S. ambassador to South Africa, Ruben Breidstee, has accused the country of providing covert arms to Russia despite its public stance of neutrality in the Ukraine war. Welcome, this is Ken Helen and you are watching the Nganiyama News Channel. Breidstee told reporters in a media briefing that the U.S. had evidence that weapons and ammunition were loaded onto a Russian freighter that docked at a Cape Town naval base in December. The ambassador said the arming of Russia was extremely serious and that South Africa's non-alignment policy was not being practiced. South Africa has refused to condemn the invasion of Ukraine and has advocated dialogue to end the conflict. But critics cite recent incidents as evidence of a tilt towards the Kremlin. Earlier this year, South Africa held a joint military exercise with Russia and China. Last month, a sanctioned Russian military cargo plane landed at an Air Force base in the middle of the night to deliver what defense authorities described as diplomatic mail. Brijdi appeared to refer to a previously known episode when the Lady R, a cargo vessel under Western sanctions flying a Russian flag, docked at South Africa's largest naval base. Among the things we noted was the cargo ships docking in Simons Town between 6 to 8 December 2022, and are confident it uploaded weapons and ammunition en route to Russia, said the envoy. When asked in Parliament about the accusation, President Cyril Ramaphosa on Thursday said the matter concerning the Lady R was being looked into and in time we will be able to speak about it. South Africa has been walking a diplomatic tightrope over the Ukraine conflict, as it has strong economic and trade relations with the US and Europe, but it also has ties with Russia dating back decades to when the Kremlin supported the African National Congress in its fight against apartheid. South Africa is a member of BRICS, a grouping bringing together Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, and has advocated for multilateralism as a counterbalance to a US-led international order. In March, South Africa was faced with a diplomatic dilemma after the International Criminal Court issued an arrest warrant against Russian President Vladimir Putin, who is due to attend a BRICS summit in South Africa in August. The warrant meant that Pretoria would have to detain Putin on arrival. In response, last month President Cyril Ramaphosa said the ANC had resolved that South Africa should quit the ICC, before backtracking hours later citing what his office called a communications error. The RAND, South Africa's currency, has been softening against the dollar in recent days, and it dropped sharply on Thursday after news of Brijdi's remarks spread. The accusation of providing covert arms to Russia is likely to cause further damage to South Africa's relations with the U.S. and its allies. What are your thoughts on the serious accusations the U.S. government has made on the South African government? Let us know in the comments below. Also like and share the video. Do subscribe to the Nganiyama News Channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on this developing story and more news from the African diaspora and across the world.